have seen the results of high speed chases. Some of them and peacefully, others do not. That's right, and now Wayne County is changing its policies to reduce the potential damage of those pursuits. Deputies are going to go through their very first training session sometime later this morning. CBS 17, Susanna Black, live right now at the Sheriff's Office Training Center. So, Susanna, what do we know so far about these new rules? We know that the sheriff is putting the choice to pursue a car or not now in the hands of a supervisor. In the past, the supervisors were discouraged from calling off of a chase if a deputy decided to do it. And the sheriff's office says that that put more deputies and citizens at risk. One of the latest pursuits the sheriff's office was involved in was in May. A deputy tried to stop a car and it sped away. The chase ended with the vehicle slamming into another car and two motorcycles. The suspect was arrested, but the people hit had to be taken to the hospital. As a campaign promise last year, Sheriff Gerald Baker said revamping policies like this one was his top priority. Now, the Sheriff's Office isn't the first agency to do this. I'll tell you who else is cracking down on high-speed chase policies coming up in the next half hour. For now, reporting live in Wake County, I'm Susanna Black, CBS 17 News.